we are going to do breakfast crunch wrap supremes on the blackstone griddle uh, if you haven't done this before this tastes phenomenal no need to go to taco bell anymore you just go to your backyard you go to your griddle you go to taco el caso griddle and you make it yourself and i'm going to show you how to do it so let's hop into the cook all right first things first we're going to put our frozen hash browns down that's right i said frozen you can get them at the local store but you're going to put them on the left side of your griddle and you're going to go ahead and keep it on warm we don't want to make it too hot because we're just warming these bad boys up they're already cooked we're just thawing them and getting them a little bit brown. So we're gonna keep them on the left side of the griddle. Now on the right side of the griddle, we're gonna use chorizo today. I like a little chorizo in your life. We're gonna have that come out right on the griddle and that is pretty graphic. But we're gonna go ahead and cook that right on this bad boy. I was in the mood, you can use sausage, you can use bacon, you can use any kind of protein you like, but I'm gonna go with chorizo today in our Crunchwrap Supremes, because why not? All right, let's get this meat mixed down. And you're probably wondering, what is the crunch? Well, you got options, and I like options. You can just use the hash brown as your crunch, and that's what I normally do. Or you can put a tostada in the tortilla, and you can do it that way. It's really up to you and what you like. Um, but today we're doing the hash browns as the crunch. So let's get this meat mixed down, get this chorizo start to cook, and then we'll get our eggs going as well. We're gonna mix those up, we're gonna use five eggs. All right, let's crack our eggs. We're gonna put five eggs in this bad boy. It's gonna be, gonna be a good, good, good little thing here. Can't talk. All right, let's put our eggs in here. We're gonna mix them all up. Do not put any salt or pepper in your eggs yet. We're just gonna mix our eggs up here. That's all we're doing. We're gonna do five eggs in this bowl and get them all creamy and goodness, but we just wanna mix them up while our meat is cooking. A little bit of juice there on my hand, get that all cleaned up. Let's take a fork or a whisk, whatever you want to do, and make those cracked out, and then go ahead and mix together. Real simple, real easy, no seasoning, no spice, no salt, no pepper, no nothing. We're just mixing those up. We don't want to do any salt because that's going to ruin our eggs, make them with a grainy texture. And some people put pepper in now, which you totally can. I like putting pepper in at the end. So that's what we're going to do. Get our eggs mixed up. Let's go back and check on our chorizo. All right, here are our attempts so you can make sure you have the right temperatures for your food so you don't overcook. We're gonna go ahead and get you those temps, nice to low, medium heat here. And uh, that's gonna be our temps for our chorizo, our eggs, and our hash browns when we're cooking here. So at least you get a view of what we're making and how it looks. All right, let's go ahead and get our chorizo mixed up here. Yeah, I love that chorizo. Some people don't like chorizo because it's spicy. I prefer it actually, I like it spicy. I like it spicy. Some people don't know when it's done. I get that a lot too. They're like, how do you know when the chorizo is done? Well, it's textured based. So you can see in the texture of the chorizo of when it's done. If it's all clumped together and not separating still, it's not done, it's still cooking. So you wanna get that all nice and cooked and flat it out on your grill. Let's flip these hash browns too. Get to see, they're already getting to be a brown color. That's what we want. This is on warm, like we said. So we're just warming these bad boys up. That's gonna be our crunch inside of our crunch wraps is these hash browns. Get nice, get that nice brown texture right there. It's gonna be yummy, yummy in your tummy. All right, let's get our eggs in. Remember, we haven't put any seasoning on these eggs. We're gonna cook it right in the chorizo and pour and control the flow on your griddle because they're gonna cook quick. So just, you got five eggs on there. You're gonna nice and control that flow. You're gonna control the flow. And it's gonna pick up all that chorizo goodness as well. So just kind of go with it. Let it do its thing. Let's coagulate. Let's get it cooked. It's gonna cook really fast. You're gonna start chopping it up a little bit. Make sure that you don't want them all runny. It's gonna cook really fast. Once you start getting it nice and runny, you're gonna go nice and come together. You're gonna to wanna to chop it up like that. And you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna throw in, that's when you're gonna throw in your salt and your pepper. We got our pepper there. And then I like to throw in, we got cheese, green onions, a little bit of bacon. We're gonna dump that all on top right there. Make that yummy goodness. I'm gonna chop that bad boy up. Oh yeah, that's gonna melt right into our eggs. That's gonna go inside our crunch wrap. Our hash browns are still cooking on the left. They're warming up because we want them nice and crispy for that crunch. Remember, it is a crunch wrap, it's not a soft wrap. 
So we're going to go ahead and get that nice and crunchy. All right, our eggs are about done. All chopped up, all good to go. So let's get our eggs off and we'll get our hash browns off. And then I'm going to show you how to go ahead and put this crunch wrap together because it is, can be a little tricky. It can be a little tricky. Okay, let's assemble our crunch wrap supreme. And first with the supreme, you got to put the sour cream that makes it supreme. All right, here we go. Get that all over that covered there. Then we're going to take our hash brown, our crunch. You can put a tostada and we're going to put hash brown in the middle there. Then we're going to take our chorizo we just cooked. Put that right there. Ooh, that looks good. Can't wait to try this. Then we're going to take our eggs and put our eggs in there. Just cooked up these eggs, five eggs with our cheese and our green onion. And there was a little bit leftover bacon from our last cook. So we had to do that. And now we're going to fold her up and we're going to put it back on the griddle because we need to make sure that we get these nice toasty golden brown. So let's fold this bad boy up like this. And then you take the other, the right side or the left side, whatever you're comfortable with like that. Like so, like so and like so. And you got this and you flip it, flip it and grip it. It looks like kind of like a star. And we're gonna throw that bad boy right back on the griddle. All right, these breakfast crunch wraps are cooking, but first do me a huge favor, smash that like button, turn on subscribe, and it really helps me and helps the channel. Let's get back to the cook. Okay, let's get these crunch wraps back on the griddle. We're gonna go ahead and get them nice and toasty brown. You don't need to put oil down or anything like that. We want that griddle to be hot and nice and easy and we want it to stick to the bottom a little bit. We want that nice golden brown look on these crunch wraps, especially the breakfast ones. I want to crunch nice in, into it. Mm, it's going to be good. So we let them down. We're going to put them for like a minute, flip, and we'll show you how golden brown they are. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and flip these. It's been about a minute. They should be golden brown. Oh yeah, that's what we want. We want that color. That's the color you're looking for. Nice golden brown. There we go. Both of them are ready to go. We're going to toast that other side. You're really just toasting the tortilla, melting everything inside, but combining it, ready for that good bite. All right, let's get this bad boy off and taste it. I am hungry. It looks so good. It's got that nice toasty brown. Let's see if I don't burn my mouth off. Oh, it's going to burn. I got to wait. All right, let's try this bad boy. I can't wait. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mmm, that is so delicious. The chorizo is spicy, but the sour cream cools it down immediately. It's so good, so good. All right, guys, if you like this, go ahead and click or touch the screen now. I got two more recipes for you. I'll catch you in the next cook.